John, so that 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 kind of that was a great start. That that's sowed the seed in my head of, t of total destruction, because um, I did a version of it, a first version of it, which was just, just I just basically slung a kick drum underneath their original, and that, because I was a little bit little bit scared because um, I thought I thought they would be precious about their baby, about their artwork, you know. Um, did the version, Andrew Innes um, from the band came down, listened to it, he went, ah, it's not bad, but just fucking destroy it. That was his words, just fucking destroy it in a broad Glaswegian accent. Um, um, and so that, that you know, to have that said to you, it, it does, it is always, it's been ringing in my head for, for 20 years, him saying fucking destroy it. So that kind of made me realise that bands may not be so precious about about their art. It transpires that some of them actually are quite precious about their art. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a case in point with the My Bloody Valentine. Um, um, they did actually, members of the band came down um, um, to see what I was doing. And they, they didn't actually, to their credit, they just wanted to see what the process were, was. They, were, they, were, they weren't so, um, they weren't precious. But there have been bands that have sent sent it's usually the drummer for some reason i don't know um because it's usually probably his stuff that i get rid of first <laughs> or make his drum you know make his his drums into a into a shorter loop but um um i soon made it very clear that i wouldn't i wouldn't um, stand for musicians in the studio while i was working something i stand by to this day i, I you know i really have them in one at a time and for a short time as possible <laughs>